Well. Well. You and I. Um, yeah. You did mention needing more clothes. Yes, I did. Wanna go play dress up? I mean, we don't have to. I don't know Just what else to do, though. There. You know what I mean? Yeah. Aside from what we normally do, yeah. there's hardly anybody around. Mm hmm. For all we know, we try and head back into Rose, and the deputy's gonna stop us. Good. It, I'd be surprised if there's deputies about, but at the same time, they were headed back into town for. Yeah, they they kept going. They didn't stop at the sheriff station. Okay. Still like they were, one. they were fixing to get out of town, I think, or at least over to the telegram station for God knows what. But I never saw them go back there, so I don't know. It was hard to see. So I do <laughs> not know. Just curious if they like stopped to watch us. Yeah, that was a little bizarre. I'll give them that. They weren't in a hurry when they knew we were there. Mm -hmm. As soon as we start was... approaching. Yeah. Uh huh. They're like, okay, we're done. Bye. Yeah, game over. Let's go. I'm to scoot. I'm tempted just to go into Rose. Let's go. You already know I'm ready. Do I? Well, what it comes with a chance you? at a confronation. Mm hmm. You love it. You fucking thrive on it for some reason. I do. It's been a long time. Hell, I might not even be good at it no more. Wouldn't that I think be a that's the kind of thing you forget? No, I, I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt it too. So what I know. gotten a lot more confrontational too what's that i said you've gotten a lot more confrontational too yeah depends on the situation who i'm talking to yeah, yeah it should that don't it used to be my place to speak up for the group well it is now has mm -hmm. been for a while through there my horse just didn't want to stop Come here now that was montana his group someone running on the left yeah
Well, hold on. I don't want to get too visible. I don't think they're coming. Well, I don't know. Because they wouldn't have had her run all the way to get her horse. What five or six of them? Oh, here they come. They were moving. Yeah, they were. I don't think they saw us. I don't think so either. They're probably headed to a town or yeah. just set up for something, maybe. Yeah, they were in a hurry somewhere. I'm just surprised they didn't see us in front of them. Well, that was a weird clicky sound. Yeah. Uh, what is that? <laughs> it's me just going... Oh, it don't sound like that. That's like no. an echo. Oh, really? Like sounds plastic. Oh, interesting. Um. Yeah. I don't know. And that was definitely Montana that had his back to us. They love coming out east, don't they? Well, yeah, they can't do shit out west. And there's way more fucking people out here. Yeah. I need your advice, Ross. On what? On the boy. I mean, he's working himself out of a job. I don't know what else you might be looking for thoughts on well i feel the same way i just you know when someone tells me they're going to do something i kind of have the expectation they're going to handle it or if they run into any kind of issues or snag on anything that they're going to fucking talk about it but there ain't nothing i mean i don't want to treat the boy like a pile of shit right yeah but our word is everything here we don't keep it. That ain't a good look. Yeah. Sorry, I just want to have my eyes towards where people would actually oh, you're, be coming from. You're smart for doing it. I 
I know he's been through some shit, you know what I mean? I don't want to tear him down. I'd like to try to build him up, but if he can't even get back to me in a telegram or communicate in any capacity, then that's, I, I don't know what I can do to help him. I feel like I've failed him, you know? Or maybe I pushed him into a, a thing where he had no reason or meaning to be there. You mean the potential for the trail boss? Yeah. He wanted it. Well, He's the one who mentioned himself. I know, but how much of that might have fallen on just who he is and what his name is and what he is to me, right? If that's the case, that's on him. That ain't on you. Yeah, you never put those expectations out there on him. All right. Want to see the kid be successful and grow into his own and fill in his own shoes and shit. But God damn. I'm really fucking pissed off with him. And I was really looking forward to seeing what he'd do with this. Yeah. I mean, last time, was this last time we saw him? He mentioned, uh, well, that was Saturday. Uh -huh. He mentioned, no, it was, it was the last time we saw him. Yeah. About the store, right? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Up there in Blackwater. like he had a good head on it you know what i mean mm -hmm. he was he was excited to do it get people involved with it mm -hmm. feel like we've just been fed smoke with it i mean tomorrow he'll be three quarters of the way done with his two weeks And almost the, the thing too, like I feel like there should be some kind of like punishment for not holding your own and doing what you say. I feel like if I don't do that, then it's gonna show favoritism toward him. Very delicate shit. Yeah, I mean, if Amber never got her little thing together at the end, what would you have done to her? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think punishment was even mentioned in that conversation at all. Probably not. But she was around. Yeah, she took care of things and she was active with it. Mm hmm. Until she wasn't anymore. Yeah. And ever since then, it's been difficult to get a hold of her. Mm hmm. I don't know. Maybe neither of them will do it. But we'll discuss that as a family. I wish John could be more present in his own, more reliable in his own. You know what I mean? Yeah, but you know there's been a lot of shit going on. Yeah, I know. Pre-arranged things. Yeah, oh, I that know. prevent him. Yeah, but you, you, you know these things, but then you still hold it against people. Oh, I'm not holding it against him. I just wish, I wish things could be different with him. Yeah. That's all. Because you I don't know mean he has the, the ability. Yeah, he does. And he knows how to talk, and he knows how to handle his shit. But he just doesn't have that reliability bit that's really, really important. You know, when someone going to see him mm -hmm. once a week or once every couple, it's a fucking problem. Yeah. And it's 
raining again. Sure is. I don't know. I just need to talk it off my chest, I guess. I don't know that a punishment is warranted. For not keeping your word. I mean, what would you do? That I don't know. To be honest with you, probably take his buckle. I think that would hurt more than an ass kicking. But then again, where does that put him? Or anybody, for that matter. You'll never see him again. Yeah. Is that a risk I'm willing to take? Because of my name? Because of what we ride as? The details, you know? Or how that might look towards others. I mean, if we're going to keep it fair, then everybody comes together on this and we talk about it. And do what we say we do, right? Yeah. Get it out of my head that that's a decision that I need to make because I'm who I am. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. This shit really chaffs my ass with my own fucking blood. And keep their fucking word. And I would hope if I was ever that person to you, that you would strike me fucking down right then and there and in my ass. It would depend. It would have to be pretty fucking egregious for me to put you down. Yeah, I know. Not just not following through on something you said you were going to do. Because if that was the case, I mean, I would have probably had to do that a long time ago when you said we could have a date. All right, be nice. I am being nice. <laughs> I'm just saying. I know. If you're going to hold him to that word, then you have to think about all the things you said you were going to do and maybe just forgot. Or well, other things came up. Or To me, it's different when you make a commitment to the individual, but when you make a commitment to the entire fucking gang, that's where I think the line is a little bit different. <laughs> I don't think the conversation of a date is in the same context no. as a conversation of what you're going to do with the gang. I don't know. I guess leave it to the gang to decide, right? Yeah, and, I mean, you gotta talk to him first. Find out. Yeah, why, okay. yeah. why he ain't been around. Keep that entire process fair. I'm gonna have others there when that conversation is had. not problems we should be having this early in. No.
You know Maverick way better than I do. What's your stance on him? He's a good guy. What He's makes a him cult. a good guy? What makes he... him a good cult? I mean, he's young, so he was still learning, but he knows how to talk to people. Situations and think about can be hot headed, but something he learned along the way is to kind of try and view things, not just himself as, as the what benefits the group and he's worked towards helping the group in the past and trying to do things. Uh, what else? For the most part, he's always like, if he said he was going to do something, he was going to do it. He always had my back. Like always. The run. Hopefully he can get back to us. Yeah. Sad I never get to saw him. Yeah. When he was here the one day. Yeah, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Seemed like he was doing alright though. Amber got him situated with a horse and a long arm and all that, so. That's good. Yeah. And those are the little things to me that stand out about her. Mm hmm She Taking was... care of folk. She did. You didn't have to ask her. She just did it. And to me, that speaks... That speaks quite big, you know? Yeah. My only concern with her is how brash she can come across the folk just mm -hmm. because of the way she talks to the, you know, little things she does mm -hmm. that people, for whatever fucking reason, can't seem to get over and they make a bigger goddamn issue over it. She's got an attitude. We all have attitudes. No, that that's it. Entirely true. I can have a hell of an attitude. Yeah, well, I'm not counting you as part of everybody because you're different. <laughs> I'm different, huh? You are different. All right. I cannot. No matter what you say, this is the cult gang. I you cannot let cult. these people down. Ross. And I will not let them down. And I will not have people in this gang or a part of our family that cannot live up to the expectations that have been set forth to be a part of it. Even my own kin. understand what I'm saying yeah Saturday night, we're going to have a family meeting at the house. 
Is everybody going to be home from their trip? Well, we'll have to find out, but I want you to get everything situated if you're able. Okay. And I think we need to look at doing it before I can even wake up. Why? Because you most have people to be there. Go to bed. I think if you want everybody there, the best chance you're going to get is not going to be that late at night. Well, you're going to be there, so it's going to be a time when you're available for it, Steve. I think if you don't want to fail the game, you need to allow for me to not be at things. I understand the importance of it, and it would be better if I could be there, but... You got to think about what's best for the game overall. All right. Because if people can't show up, then what the fuck's the point? Well, you part of those people too, so. I don't know. I'll buzz some feelers out there and see what folk can do. Unless you want to take care of it. I mean, you told me I needed to put together, so I can do it. I just think it'd be better coming from you. Express, well, express the point that I am required. I need people. I need to be face to face with as many of them as possible. All right. All right. All right. Where to? Honestly, probably home. Yeah. I'm not too excited about trying to ride around if Montana and his group are. Out being shitheads. Yep. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. I don't feel like getting caught up in anything like that. I'm glad we got out of town, though, because. Yeah. And I, mean, I think if they were interested in snagging us up, they would have gone out the other way. I don't know. They were headed elsewhere. It's perhaps, but you never really know, right? Yeah, but I mean, even like not knowing who he is, if they were just looking for people, we were the last two they would have seen. They might have headed towards Saint Denis if they were just looking for people. Maybe. Oh my God, that lantern got really bright. <laughs> yes, it did. All right, well let's I head. It startled me. Let's get headed home, man. All right. Thank you for the conversation, though. I appreciate. Mm -hmm. it. Of course. This is one of the many values you have to me. Probably one of the most important ones. Let's go then. All right. Well, it didn't seem like you were really done talking, so. No. I can't see shit right now because of the lights. Yeah. <laughs> Do I have my shovel? I probably don't. <laughs> Do you? Did I? No, I do not. Yeah, these fucking stumps. Yeah, no kidding.
I need to uh haircut right real quick. Oh fucking snake helped. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude, a little too good. To the right, to the right. I need to uh stop here for a minute. I have a thought about something. Yeah, you're good. Good to do your thing. Can head back to the house now. Sorry. Yep, you're good. You still want to get in the moonshine, babe? We need to see how all this fucking gang shakes out, honestly. Yeah. I ain't feeling too great about it at the moment. We're in the same boat, man. And I ain't the captain, so we're good. Laughing <laughs> <Don't you> that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.
Oh, this word search motherfucker. I bet he said it was like nobody's ever fucking uh done it for. Too bad I'm like really good at these. Are you? Scarlet Meadow right there. Yeah. A violent crash erupted in Valentine as two gangs from New Austin attack. It was described as a chaotic scene between the telegram station in town, where gunfire rang out, and the marshal, marshal's office swiftly intervened. Uh, the shootout resulted in mass casualties. Some reports indicated that civilians were caught in the crossfire as they ran for safety. Details surrounding the motives behind the collaboration with the two groups remains unclear, but further reports suggest the conflict is ongoing between gangs occupying New Hanover and the West with rumors of an attack having happened in Armadillo. Uh, as the situation develops, more information will be made available regarding the impact on the community and ongoing law efforts uh, to address the rising crime. Uh, residents of St. Denis are voicing outrage over the candidacy of local trolley driver Steve Simpson. Simpson, known by Shorty, is currently under investigation for multiple assaults, including two recent incidents in Annisburg and St. Denis. Simpson is stated to require memory pills daily to recall even his own name and has a reoccurring history of violent behavior. Despite this, he has announced his intention to run for mayor, prompting citizens to question if he is mentally sound enough for office. Uh, we cannot have someone with a history of violence representing the city proclaims a resident who urges people to not vote for his hot headed for this hot headed dolt. And he goes on to say, uh, Ruth and Paul Morrison, members of the Fletcher gang, were executed by firing squad on October fifteenth and seventeenth, respectively, in the Heartlands and Rhodes. Uh, Ruth's execution in Rhodes was reported to be subdued, with the condemned remaining quiet with closed eyes throughout the process of the execution. Details surrounding Paul's execution remains undisclosed. Uh, as the sh as the marshal's uh, office continues to pursue justice for victim for victims Arson Neverhood and Este Marshall, Winifred Fletcher's fate still remains unclear to the general public, although it has been confirmed that she is in custody awaiting her fate. Yeah, I read you a bedtime story. That was not like a bedtime story, though. Well, it was a newspaper story. Newspaper story. Yeah, but like, I wouldn't lie down. You just kind of read it matter of factly. Well, aren't you bored enough to sleep now? No. No. Oh. You left your shit all over the place. I have shit everywhere. So do you. No, I do not have shit everywhere. I have two things. Really? Yeah. Just a more good rest, okay? All right. Thanks again for the talk. Always. You have a good night. I love you too. Good night.